Hey everyone, welcome back to another week of shooting the stuff. We're back here in the sign shed and it is steamy out. Wow. All right. Let's talk about inventory. You're probably tired of hearing about it, but I'm going to keep talking about it. So as we all know, low inventory is driving up our prices. Okay. As many as 54 homes are getting offers over the list price, according to the National Association of Realtors, 54%. While that's great news for the sellers, it can be a little tricky for the buyers because if your contract price doesn't match up with the appraisal valuation of the house, we have what's called an appraisal gap. It's a term that we're all too familiar with and let me tell you a little bit more about it. So according to some recent data from CoreLogic, 19% of homes had their appraised value come in lower than the contract price in April of this year. And that number is more than double the percentage in each of the two previous Aprils. So that is crazy. That tells you what's going on with our market. So if the appraised, if the appraised value comes in lower than the contract price, the buyer's lender is not going to loan more than the house is appraised for. So that means there's a gap between contract price and appraised value. And the loan is going to only be for the contract price, or excuse me, for the appraisal valuation. So the buyer and the seller at this point have done their inspections. Most of the time they're maybe partially packed. What are we going to do? Everybody has a vested interest here. The, the seller doesn't want to lose the sale. The buyer's got to have a place to go. So it's common for sellers today to ask the buyer to make up the difference in today's really competitive market. So this is something that could happen to you if you decide to get in as a buyer right now and you got to be aware, what are you going to do if your appraised value comes in lower than the price that you have offered the seller on the home you're buying? Find a great broker that can talk you through different strategies, what your options are, and you might need a good loan, uh, a loan originator, mortgage broker as well. Hey, 4th of July is this weekend. I can't believe it. It's hot. We all need to jump into a lake or a pool or somewhere cold and wet. So what are you going to do? Where are you going to watch the fireworks? They're doing them this year on Slater. I don't remember if they are. We'll have a list of all the great places for you to go check out fireworks this year. Check back on our website or our Facebook. Have a great week.